For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. It's the Mad Money Shot. Sniff the Mad Cheese has always got the start of a brand new offense, although I'm in a very familiar playbook. The offensive playbook that I'm in again is the Tennessee Titans. This is probably the third or fourth offense I've put out from the Tennessee Titans. I'm thinking about putting out a full Woo! breakdown of the Tennessee Titans playbook in this upcoming month. If you guys don't know, I typically do like a full breakdown once a month, and I'm really thinking about doing the Titans. So hit the like button, let me know in the comment section if you guys want to see that. The formation I'm going to be in today is the single back tight way off. Now, I've touched on this formation a lot. I love these tight look sets typically the gun tight is one of the better versions of this where you have two receivers tight to the line on both sides of the line of scrimmage this particular formation though has a lot better run plays than you'll typically find in gun formations you have a lot more options since you're under center and the three run plays i'm going to show today are really the only three run plays you need you got the inside run which is going to be the halfback zone weak the outside run which is going to be the halfback stretch and then you also have the jet sweep which is going to be one of the more explosive runs uh, especially against man coverages the last play and this is going to be the play that i show tomorrow if you guys want to see that hit like button in the comment section but the last play is i want to play touchdown against every single defense in the game and that's the pa post dig other than that if i had a fifth play i would say the fifth best play is definitely going to be the bench switch quick note before i pick this play you want to make sure you have a fast receiver in this slot position you don't have to have your best receiver i would say if i'm gonna have my best receiver it probably makes sense to have my best receiver in this spot because when i show the one play touchdowns it's going to come from this particular spot here uh, you're going to also want to make sure that you have your best receivers on the outside because when it comes to the passing plays i'm going to utilize the outside receivers more than the inside receiver but on this particular video for this particular series you're going to want to make sure you have a fast receiver at this spot to run the wide receiver end around now as always this video is brought to you by my coin sponsor aoes.com if you guys want to get your mud team up and help support this channel all you have to do is check them out link in the description below use your discount code money to get three percent off what's always guaranteed to be the cheapest coins on the market or you can check out their other products they sell products for just about every single game out there especially sports games like nba 2k FIFA, Rocket League, things like that. You play any of those games, they'll have cheap products for them. Check them out, link in the description below. So when it comes to the run plays, you really have three different run plays and you really have three different reads. Uh, you can run it based off of what the front seven looks like or you can run it based off of what the defensive coverage looks like. If you don't know what the coverage looks like, then you're gonna wanna run it off of basically just what holes you see. Now, what makes this formation so unique and one of the reasons it's such a good running formation is you have the option to motion across any of these guys at any point in time, whether it's a tight end or receiver. You can motion these guys across and essentially create like a bunch look. You can see the formation on the defense changes, but it doesn't really matter. Now that I have my tight end over there, it's going to be a lot easier to run in that direction. As you're going to see this tight end here is going to basically pave the way. You don't have to do the tight end. I mean, you could easily go with the running back or the receiver, but you can see the tight end just does such a better job when it comes to blocking a cornerback. But if you think that's too obvious, you can always just motion across uh, the receiver as well. It's going to be the same thing. I just think you get a better blocking advantage from a tight end. But this is essentially creates what's like a single back bunch te look uh and it's really going to be you know you're going to get a lot of extra blocking especially in zone coverages you can see that i have three blockers over there to essentially two guys a cornerback and a safety and that's pretty much what's going to be the the look that's going to get me out wide now you see right there the receiver did miss the block that's why typically the titan is going to be a better option he'll actually get out there and make that block so to me the stretch is always going to be best flipped you don't have to make that motion you can just run it as is but you'll always have an advantage if you motion across the tight end you see i still have the speed to get around to the edge anytime you're running against like a cover three or a cover four the cornerback's going to drop back and the stretch is going to be a killer anyway now when it comes to the inside run which is going to be the halfback zone weak this is typically going to be best against cover two whether man or zone you can make the exact same adjustment although it's, if it's a man coverage a lot of times a receiver pulling across like this will once again pull back a cornerback so that's something where you really don't want to motion across uh the receiver typically once again the tight end makes a little bit more sense i say getting in the practice of motioning across the tight end probably makes the most sense because that's going to work best against man or zone but ultimately this is something that you could do anytime you see either a cover two man or zone or you see a spread loose defensive alignment like we have here you can see the double team block that we get is going to open up huge holes right up the middle when you look at this particular play and that's something where you know you can see when i make that motion across you essentially pull the defensive lineman across too. 
they are going to basically shift so this play might actually benefit from just hurrying up and quit snap quick snapping before your opponent has a chance to make their adjustments or even go in a little bit of a different route where you motion out one of these receivers to pull the cornerback out even further but ultimately you don't have to do any of that you can basically just you know come up to the line of scrimmage and run this and you'll see you'll get pretty much the same double team block that you did before there i had to go in a different hole but you can see there's huge lanes to be had every single time whether it's inside or outside so once again this particular look is going to probably be best against cover two man or zone because the safeties play back or any defensive alignment that's spread like this and then you can see once again i can make my motions the same way now you can see we get that double team block which we didn't necessarily get the first time we ran this if you guys don't know what i mean when i say double team block i mean these two guys here will team up and move this guy out of the way we got single blocks all across the line on the outside here and you can see julio jones loses his which is why the play essentially gets made but ultimately if you don't make that shift you won't get that double team block at the point of attack so if you motion across one of your uh receivers or your tight end you'll see how now i'm gonna get that double team block a lot more consistently which is really what's going to make this run play work as you can see right there they basically just create a huge hole every single time and then last but not least we have the end around or rather the jet sweep which to me is probably going to be the most explosive against man coverages this is a play you can't make that motion now based off the fact that this receiver is going to motion it's going to be a quick handoff too it's not like some more uh, spread out formations like a lot of times you'll have something where the receivers are spread across and it'll give your opponent a little bit more time to basically react to the motion where here it's really a quick motion and it's like a quick inside handoff so you really have a lot more uh, a lot less opportunity on the defensive side to make an adjustment based off how quick that is if you have a fast tight end you can flip it and run to the tight end but a lot of people aren't going to have a tight end fast enough this would probably be better handled as like an inside run unless you have like a darren waller or something or you're playing mutt and you have a super speedy tight end that's not going to pay a lot of dividends but you could always run this to the receiver side like i said the motion's so quick your opponent typically won't have time to react and then at that point it's really just about the speed of the receiver i don't necessarily have the best receiver here i'd probably be better off if i had a faster guy we went ahead and we put AJ Brown in that spot just to show you guys that you can really make some plays with this just as long as you have a little bit more of a playmaker. You can see right here, I mean, he's not faster, but he's definitely more as he's definitely a, an actual playmaking player, which makes it a little bit easier to get around the edge. So to recap, your halfback zone week's gonna be best against cover two man or zone because the safeties drop back. Your stretch is gonna be best against cover three and cover four because the cornerbacks drop back outside. And your jet sweep is gonna be best against man coverages because typically the defenders don't react. The pass play itself is going to be the PA post dig i have more passing plays though if you guys want to see them i will have them in my patreon on my join now community tab like i said hit the like button in the comment section if you want to see them on youtube but let's go and let's pick that the only thing you really need to be aware of on this particular play is have your best and your fastest receiver at this particular spot because this is where all the home runs are going to come from other than that let's go ahead and let's pick the pa post dig on the defensive side we're going to start off with tampa 2 like we always do and work our way back now as far as a minimal setup goes all I have to do is put the X route on a 10 yard out route. That's it. That's a five yard out route. And then I reset it by smart routing it for people that don't know. So it's really that simple. That's all I have to do. If I really want to make this play easier though, I can motion them out. Uh, I don't know why I went back to a five yard out route there, but like I said, a 10 yard out route motioned out will be the maximum setup that you need to do. And then you'll see how this B route here gets a lot of separation. Now, I don't know what happened with that throw. I guess it just said inaccurate bullet pass, but you can see the separation. I'll do that without making that motion. Just to show you guys, and like I said, you can if you want to do it similar to what I was doing previously um, with uh, as far as you know motion across the tight end, like I did in the previous video where you're doing that for a lot of the pass plays, you can motion them across just to basically create a similar look, and you can see AJ Brown's getting across the same way. So the motion really didn't have anything to do with that, but you can see it's an easy one play touchdown. So I'll go ahead and I'll do that one time just like this. I would like to re-block Pruitt because that, that animation he's doing is really kind of weird and it, it kind of messes everything up. So you can see here now we have a lot of extra blocking. You can see AJ Brown's getting over the top. I mean, that's the minimum you have to do is 10 yard out route that receiver. There are some additional setups you can do when it comes to this play, especially against cover two. If you block the tight end one more time, then motion across the B route. You have to block the tight end first because if you don't, you can't re-block him once he steps aside like he did there. But motion across the B route, put the X route on streak, and now you'll have a one-play touchdown to the outside uh, with from a very similar look to some of the actual passing plays. Although I don't know, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get that type of catch and run that I want. You can see how this route really angles directly at the um, 
you know, the opening in the outside of the cover too. And then you have the Y route pulling down that cornerback. Now there, I forgot to do the pass block when it comes to the tight end. Uh, you can see, you can get a one play touchdown out of this stuff. You have a really fast receiver, really agile receiver. You can get a one play touchdown out of this very easily to the outside. That exact same series of setups will work well against cover two man as well. So let's go and let's pick that. Against cover two man, I really think that the best way to run this is gonna be the original setup. Uh, this is something that you'll probably have the most success because you have a really good inside release and that's really going to give you the most separation when it comes to this play. As you can see, I don't really have a huge speed of any ones again, but it does get going for a one play touchdown. So next up we have cover three. We're going to pick that play again and we'll pick cover three sky on defense. Against cover three, it's pretty much going to be the exact same setup. You're going to motion this guy out, only this time you're going to put the A route here on a streak. You can't have him blocking, uh, but ultimately need him to pull back the safety. And you're going to see how we're going to have pretty much the exact same result as the cornerback here is just wide away from the play. Once again, not really fast receivers. You can see we're getting a huge opening though. And I feel like I'm trying to perform surgery with a butter knife here, but you can see how this particular setup works. Once this guy gets across, like I said, speed would be huge here. The, the cornerback that's supposed to be covering that area is nowhere to be found. He's 10, 15 yards away from the play. So all you really have to do is bullet pass lead away from the safety. You're going to have an easy one play touchdown every single time. The Titans are not the best passing team. They're not too bad, but Tannehill doesn't have the arm strength. They don't really have the fastest receivers. And you can see I'm still getting these plays done as I'm getting one play touchdowns over the top. I would just have a little more separation if I had a faster receiver and a stronger arm quarterback. So next up, we'll do cover one man. This is going to be the alternate setup that's going to work best against this. So let's pick cover one hole. Against cover one, you can have success the same way. You don't have to make that motion, though, based off of the fact that, um, you know, you can just save the motion it's not really that important but you can see the routes really bump each other off as we get over the top slightly one more time based off the fact that i just don't have enough speed or arm strength and then last but not least we have cover four we're gonna have to leave this formation and go to the dollar to see that so we'll go for cover four drop against cover four this is somewhat of a natural cover for one play touchdown but to make it even easier just put the x route on the drag you want to run it from a hash mark to the short side of the field so that the route gets across the field a little bit quicker and then once he's parallel with that free safety you can bullet and pass lead away and once again like i said the margins aren't great because i don't really have a lot of speed or a great quarterback we're going to watch the replay on that you can see once again i'm running it from the hash mark to the short side of the field so this receiver gets across the defense a lot faster and then you can see once he gets inside of this safety once he's basically parallel with him if i go back to the quarterback i'm probably bulleting and pass leading away already as you can see we're basically in that throw off so like i said i don't really have a lot of arm strength i don't really get a lot of dramatic pass leads like i would like but you can see even with a mediocre passing team i could still get that playoff and still make one play touchdowns against every single defense in the game go on i'll do that one more time I'll re-block my tight end because I keep forgetting to do that. I also like to slide my protection in the direction that I'll be rolling. Based off the fact that this quarterback doesn't have a great arm, you're going to want to shorten those throw lanes to get um, the most out of it. And you can see, once again, we're bodying him for another one-play touchdown against cover four. Like I said, if I had Hollywood Brown or somebody that I typically use, it'd be much easier. But this is what I have to work with with the Titans. So that's it. That's the video. If you guys want to see a full breakdown of this offense with more passing plays, hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching. Man, my shit out. And then and last but not least, probably one of the better pass plays in this formation is going to be the bench switch. Let's go and let's pick that. We're going to go random on defense. The reason I'm going random here is because you can really run this against just about anything. If you can't tell, there really is a difference between the routes on each side. The B route and the X route are running slightly different routes. The X route is a man beating route. The B route is not. So typically I'm going to want to run my offense to that side. If you basically just put the Y route on a streak and the A route on a drag, you're pretty much going to have everything you need to just about beat every single defense without really knowing what you're looking at now here we have that cover two you can see julio jones gets outside of that cover two if i was running from a hash mark to the open side of the field i probably would have more catch and run space but you can see that's pretty much going to be the read my drag is going to be my check down my y is going to be my pull route and my x route is going to get open against just about every single thing that i needed to as you can see right here it looks like we might have had a cover four there i'm not really sure but he gets outside of that again and this is a very simple setup you can create this setup too if you want to disguise what you were doing earlier with some of the run plays uh, by motioning across um, the a route and then just putting on a flat route it's going to be the exact same concept and you're going to have pretty much the exact same success as you can see right here that must have been a, a hard flat cover too is wide open in the to julio jones again 
But if you really wanted to run this, like if I wanted to run this in a way that was a little bit harder to tell which side of the field I was running on, I could easily go to the B route side too. Especially if I'm looking at something like, um, you know, a, a cover two, which is gonna be obviously very easy to run this against. So that's one of the things about this particular play is I could really run it to either side. If my opponent is keying in on the side, I could easily go the opposite direction. Although I really can't when it comes to man coverage because that was a man coverage I had to take the check down. So that's why it's going to be best to run the routes more to Julio's side because that's more of a man-beating route. But if your opponent is keying in on that side, you could easily switch it up and go in the opposite direction. I did neglect to mention against cover three, these, this tight end up the same or this slot receiver up the seam is going to get open a lot against cover three. So there's really only one defense that I would be looking at that A route. Now this year, if this is a cover two, you can see once again, it's, it's open again. So up the middle of the cover two safeties or up the cover three seam, it will Will have value but otherwise these routes are typically just a pullback coverage and uh, we see once again like i said i could really throw to any one of these three routes this is really one of the hardest to stop plays if you can run this play consistency i know that i called the the y route or the streak just a pull route but from the tight end it's actually a little bit of a better route because the tight ends are a little bit stronger coming up the middle of the field uh, making it a little bit more valuable so like i was saying if i want to run it like this i can it, in this way, the tight end is a little bit more of a player. On the other side, the wire out typically is not because it's not the line of scrimmage. It typically gets bumped off. But you have better man options on the other side as well. Here we go. We got another. You know, I could just basically work that tight end, save catch it. He's going to be open over the middle of the field. It's something that's very hard to stop because you can run on both sides. So that's it. That's the video. If you guys want to see a full breakdown of this offense with more passing plays, hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.